Yes, in this video, we will be seeing some more concepts of graphs. Adjacent rules. Adjacent means neighbors. So, if you say that A is adjacent to B, A is adjacent to D. So, D and B are said to be adjacent node of A. Likewise, for B, A, C and E. Because to B, E is connected, A is connected and C. So, B said to have consist of three adjacent nodes. One is A, E and C. So, if two nodes, if two nodes, U and B, let us take A and B or B and C. If they are connected via an edge, if they are connected via an edge, then nodes U and B are called as neighbors. These two are called as neighbors or adjacent nodes. In a graph, two vertices are said to be adjacent. Two vertices, node and vertices are same here. So, if there is an edge between the two vertices, here the adjacency of vertices is maintained by a single edge. If they are connected by a single edge, then you can call them as a neighbors. In a graph, two edges are said to be adjacent. That is, this edge and this edge are said to be adjacent if they are connected by a single vertex. Okay, if there is a common vertex between the two edges, A is a common vertex between this edge and this edge, then this is said to be adjacent edges. These are said to be adjacent nodes when they are connected with a common edge, and these two are said to be adjacent edge when they are connected by a common vertex. Okay, in the graph. A and B are the adjacent vertices as there is a common edge A, B between them. A and D, A and D are adjacent vertices as there is a common edge between A, D. A, B and B, A, B and B, A, B and B are adjacent edges as there is a common vertex B. Likewise, you can do all the other things, check all the other things also. So, in this graph, A and D are the adjacent vertices. A and D are adjacent as there is a common edge. C and B, C and B are adjacent vertices as there is a common edge, CB. AD and CD, AD and CD. Or adjacent vertex as there is a common vertex D. AC and CD are adjacent as there is a common vertex C between them. So I hope you now understand what is meant by adjacent edges and adjacent vertices. Now we will move to the next one, graph types. Already we have seen undirected graph and directed graph. Now we will see some more graphs both in directed and undirected graphs. They are broadly divided as directed and directed, undirected. Now, connected graph. What do you mean by connected graph? A connected graph is the one in which some path exists between every two vertices. So, all are connected. All edges are connected. And there is some path is connected. There is no isolated nodes. What do you mean by isolated node? Suppose I am having uh, an element and uh, say let us say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Suppose I have L. Okay. Suppose uh, let me say L. A vertex called L is the Okay, now this let us say one more, one more vertex is L is there. But this is not connected with this graph. Then you can call this as an isolated node. Now this is no more a connected graph. When there is an isolated graph, then you can't say this as a connected graph. But when it is not there, then you can call this as a, see all the nodes are connected. Then you can call this as a connected graph. Complete graph. What do you mean by complete graph? All the nodes are connected with each other. So, for example, A is connected with B and C. 
C is connected with A and B. There are only three nodes, but all the three nodes are connected with each other. Here there are four nodes, but all the four nodes are connected. So, for example, P is connected with R, P is connected with S, and P is connected with Q. Same way, Q is connected with R, is connected with S, and connected with P. So, this is said to be a complete graph. So, if you take this complete graph, you can say n into n minus 1. So, for example, here. Is n means here. How many elements are there? How many vertices are there? 1, 2, 3. So, if you take 3 into 3 minus 1 divided by 2. So, which is nothing but 3 into 2 by 2. So, which is nothing but 3. So, if you take this, a complete graph contains n into n minus 2 edges. So, for this 3 vertices, you have 3 edges. Let us consider the next graph, that is 4. So, let us see how many uh, edges we will have according to our formula. 4 minus 1 divided by 2, which means 4 into 3 divided by 2. So, which is nothing but 12 by 2, which is 6. So, it will have 6. Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, then 5 and 6. So, it will have 6 edges. So, that's the, uh, so it, it follows this formula. A complete graph follows this formula. Then, weighted graph. What is weighted graph? If you have some value for that edges. Say, for example, if this is the considered to be some city. Say P is a city, Q is a city, S is a city, and R is a city. Then the distance between P and Q. So, for example, 20 kilometers, a 30 kilometers. So, if you substitute the 30 kilometers, but if you give the value for this, then you can say that as a weighted graph. Or the weight may be cost also. For example, from this city, I want to travel to this city. What is the cost? Say 100 rupees. That And you enter that, then that becomes the weight of this graph. But if you apply cost, then you have to apply the cost for the whole thing. If you apply the distance, then you have to apply distance for all the edges. So that is the logic. So in your weighted graph, each edge is, this is an edge, this is an edge, etc. Each edge is assigned with some data such as length or weight. The weight of an edge E can be given as W of E, which must be a positive value. It must be a positive value indicating the cost of traversing the edge. From this node to this node, what is the cost? It may be in terms of distance, it may be in terms of very uh, rupees, that is uh, cost required for traveling from that place to that place, also anything. So a diagram is a directed graph in which each edge of the graph is associated with some direction and traversing can be done only in the specified direction. Okay, this already we have seen the diagram. So null graph. What is a null graph? Here there is no edge. This is this consists of vertices, three vertices, but there is no edge pattern. So this type is said to be a null graph. Then trivial graph, only one node. This and there is no self loop also. So this is said to be a trivial graph. Then now let us see the degree representation. Already we have seen. Uh, I have told something about the degree. So here. Let us take a look at the following. This is for undirected graph, how you will see the degree. So, the number of edges joining to that particular node. So, here degree of A for this is 2 because A to B is that, A to D is that. So, it has 2 edges connected with that. So, in the case degree of A is 2. Degree of B is 3. B is this. Yeah, this is one edge is there, one edge is there and this is another. So, it has B. Whereas degree of C for this it is only connected only one edge from B to C. So, this degree of the C is 1. Whereas here for E it is 0. But it has, it is also that this is said to be an isolated node. And otherwise, uh, leaf pen and vertex, uh, vertex with the degree 1. Here it has a degree only 1. So, this type is said to be a 
pendant vertex. You can call C as a pendant vertex, which has one degree equal to one. A vertex of a graph is a pendant if its neighborhood contains exactly one vertex. What is the neighborhood of this? This is the neighborhood. Already we have seen what is an adjacent. The one with the if it is connected with the other node, how many nodes it is connected directly? Those nodes are said to be the neighbor through a common edge. So if the C is connected with B only and B is the neighbor of this. So it has only one neighbor. So in that case, it is said to be a pendant vertex. And since it is connected, this is also called as pendant edge. And here E is said to be an isolated vertex. So in that another example for a pendant vertex, uh, that is the E is an isolated, but here it doesn't have a pendant vertex because all the nodes are having more than one degree. A is having two degree, B is having two degree and so on. Now, whereas here we have pendant edge. So this is the only one node uh, and this is a pendant vertex and this is connected with that, then we call only one neighbor. So it is said to be a pendant edge. Then we'll see degree of vertex in a directed graph. So this is a, with the direction. If you see that here, B, it has, it, you can say there are two concepts. One is in degree and out degree. In degree is the number of edges which are coming into the vertex. If it goes, say for example, B, the edge is coming towards it. See the direction. If it is like that, then you can say in degree. Whereas in here A, this goes outside the, uh, out, away from the vertex. This edge is, so uh, if the path is out, is the number of edges which are going out from the vertex V, then you say it as an out degree. So for A, the out degree here is, this is one out degree and this is another out degree. So for A, two out degrees are there. And since this edge is coming towards it, it is said to be one in degree. So here for A, it has one in degree and two out degree. For B, it has only in degree, that is two in degrees. If it takes C, it has one, two in degrees and one out degree and so on. And for this, we have returned like this. For A, it is one uh, out degree and two of degree, one in degree and out two out degree. For B, it is B. B is in degree is two and out degree is C. For C, it is two in degree, one and two and one out degree. And for D, this is D, one out degree and one in degree. E, here, yeah, one out degree and one in degree. And F, it is uh, one out degree and one in degree and for G it has one two two out degree but it has no in degree I didn't understand 